Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Welcome to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm Pat McSherry, and we finally have the cold temperatures that we need to give us a lot more options here in the Midwest out on the ice. So in the coming weeks, we should have a lot more flexibility and get on some great bites for you guys. So on this week's episode, it's PJ, Vic, and I. We're headed up to Lake of the Woods. And at this time, Lake of the Woods is just getting going. Uh, you can only get out to basically that first break line there but it's got a great walleye and sauger bite. So stay tuned, it's PJ, Vic and I, this week on In-Depth Outdoors. All right, it's the spot. All right. Get after it. Hopefully we can start out kind of in this 15 to 18 feet and then as the morning goes on into midday we'll just kind of bump Push out a little, a little deeper. deeper. Sounds like a good game plan to me. Mm -hmm. There he is. All hey, right. boy. That's a, that's a decent fish. Just come racing off the bottom and crush that bait. No, oh, that's good to know. Good to know uh, that there's some aggressive fish around. Yeah, that's a good sign. All right. Not bad at all. Fishing with the new number six perch slab wrap this morning. I've really been excited about trying this bait out. And uh, that fish agreed that it's something that catches. All right. Well, I think I made the right bait choice because this fish actually has a perch sticking out of its gullet. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Yeah. You're thinking about keeping a few fish today? I'm going to keep fish today. Okay. That is a perfect eater right there. So we'll put that one on the ice. All right. Here he is. There, you got him. There. Oh, well, it's just a little bit nicer sauger is all. He's got me all tangled up there. There we go. And I'm gonna keep a few, do a little fish fry later on, I think. So right now, we've just kind of been testing the waters, trying to figure things out. You know, we, we started out in kind of that 16, 17 feet of water. PJ caught a nice walleye right off the bat, had a few small saugers and things kind of dried up for us. So now we've been kind of hunting and pecking around a little bit deeper water. We're in 22 feet. Um, you know, we're probably maybe 500 yards away from where we originally started further to the north out into the basin. And we're just kind of hunting around looking for active fish right now. And hopefully that's a good sign. There's a pack of them around here. We can pick off a few more. Got him. Ooh, that feels like a better fish a little bit. Oh. We're starting the day off here. We got a, a pretty good cold front moving in. 
we've actually pushed out to about 24, 25 feet of water. Oh yeah, very nice. All right, nice, probably 17 inch sauger. Beautiful fish. But like I was saying, with this cold front coming in, we, we kind of checked in shallow and those fish were not in there this morning. We, we bumped out right away and now we're starting to contact some nice fish. So hopefully we can kind of hunker down out in this area and uh, pick away at them. Strike Master introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and the two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strike Master. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. This winter, set a trap for your next trophy with iFish Pro. The new iFish Pro 2.0 now offers an insulated base to help keep your ice hole from icing over and an upgraded rod holder for use with longer, heavier rods. Complete your ice fishing arsenal with iFish Pro, tactical ice gear that puts the fight back into tip-up fishing. Find iFish Pro online at iFishPro.com or at your favorite sporting goods retailer. Yes. All right. A little flurry going on here. Oh yeah. I know. I've noticed just the last little bit here. Not a very big one, but fish. Walleye. It's another walleye. walleye. So that's a nice. good sign. I mean, yeah. the last few fish here have been walleyes, opposed to them saugers. I did get that one nicer one earlier, but for the most part, they've been in that you know 10 to 13 inch range. But we're out here and. I mean, it, as the day goes on, we're, we just keep marking more and more fish as the day works on. So I hope that that's uh, kind of setting the trend for this afternoon. There he is. It looks like a little bit nicer one. A little bigger than those saugers anyways. <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing with Lake of the Woods. It's, you get a lot of action, but a lot of it's kind of smaller saugers, things like that, but it keeps you busy all day. Oh yeah, that's a walleye. Perfect. Kind of that eater variety, 15 incher. Pop them off, send them right back down. Right now we're kind of in the middle of some changing conditions. That wind switched out of the north now and the sun's coming out a little bit. And we pushed out a little bit deeper. Uh, right now we're in 25 feet of water and it seems like there's a lot more fish out here. At least we're seeing more activity on the graph and uh, a lot of smaller saugers, but then we're getting our walleyes mixed in as well. You know, we started out in the morning, 15 feet of water or so, and we had a little bit of a flurry there, yeah, but- Real quick. Yeah, it just, things kind of petered out. We moved out into this deeper water and uh, we're staying on the fish. So hopefully we can just continue that process throughout the day and mix in some nicer walleyes. Oh. I'm marking one over here right now. Nice. Oh, there we go. All right, on another one, Pat. Nice. And we've had, I mean, this midday action is really picking up. There we go. 
nice, probably 15, 16 inch sauger. Nothing wrong with that. You know, I switched over to this uh, Tingler spoon, 3 16th ounce, just the, the regular golden shiner. And uh, I'm having a lot better luck than uh, that green UV. That green UV worked good this morning and then it kind of fizzled out. I think I'm gonna keep that one to eat. But, you know, up here on Great Lake of the Woods, it's just an awesome place to come cycle through a bunch of fish, catch a bunch of fish, have fun with your friends. I mean, we haven't had any real trophies or bigger fish by any means, but that potential is definitely here. I mean, you, you can be sitting here catching, you know, 15 to 20 inch fish and all of a sudden, you know, the next one you hook is 28, 29 inches. So the trophy potential is definitely here, but well, you want to talk about putting numbers of fish on the ice, this is a great place to do it. So we're having a lot of fun up here. In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. On this week's spot on the spot ID, I'm just going to do a really quick run through on our approach fishing the South Shore Lake of the Woods. And Rainy River's right here, the main current channel comes out here. You do have some current areas right here. And late in the fall, there's an Emerald Shiner run and that sucks in a lot of walleyes into Four Mile Bay and into the Rainy River. So our main approach was to try and target these fish that are coming back out, easing into the basin. And it's really a pretty simple approach that works really well, that you start out shallow in the morning, work out deeper in the midday, and then back shallow in the evening again. Those low light period times are where you're gonna wanna be up in that 16, 17, 18 feet of water targeting fish that are a lot more aggressive and a lot of times a little bit nicer quality. Come out midday into that 25 to 30 feet of water, that's where you're gonna have the most action midday. So it's really a pretty simple approach to stay on fish on Lake of the Woods out of the South Shore. With the release of the tungsten bullfly jig from BMC, your panfish presentation just got buggier. By creating a spot on invertebrate imitator destined to fool the most wary panfish. The Tungsten Bullfly Jig is available in nine colors to further accommodate today's angling, including four metallic finishes and five Ultra Glow colors, which hold a charge up to 15 minutes. This winter, match the hatch and outsmart the most finicky panfish with the BMC Bullfly Jig. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Glacial Lake Stock is your number one source for Yeti ice houses. With our large inventory of new and used Yetis, our experienced staff will help you select the perfect model for the way you fish. From sale to service, Glacial Lake Stock has you covered. As an authorized Yeti service center, we can handle all your service or warranty needs and work to keep you fishing all winter long. Stop in today or check us out online at glaciallakestock.com and make this ice season your most enjoyable and comfortable ever. For this winter's next cold front, the new Strike Master Surface Suit offers features ice anglers demand. The Surface Suit is 100% waterproof, windproof, has an adjustable hem, and is constructed using a 100% nylon Oxford shell that offers unmatched durability. The Surface Suit combines incredible warmth with the confidence that comes from knowing Strike Master's stay on surface flotation will be there, providing up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. Strike Master, the hottest brand on the ice. Hey Pat, I got a big fish on. What do you got? I don't think it's Tarkin species. It's, it's a really big fish. Big pike? It's either a big pike or a sturgeon, one or the other. Oh I was, boy. I was pounding on the bottom and uh, it whacked it right off the bottom and it is cruising. <laughs> Basically, we've been taking turns, kind of warming up in the house, fishing, and then getting warm, going back out, full hopping around. Works really good to set up the base camp, and oh boy, <laughs> what do you have? I'm telling you, he's just going. I mean. 
got to be a sturgeon, right? I, I would think so. I would think it is. Hey, we're getting a lot of real short head pumps on mm -hmm. it. But that's one cool part. You, you just never know what you're going to hook into out here. Yeah. Whether or not you're targeting walleyes. There's plenty of other species to be had. And I'm enjoying this battle, to be honest. <laughs> Your wrist getting sore yet? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but flip the, flip the shack back over. I thought it was going to be a, a quick deal with a pike. I don't think I've ever caught a sturgeon through the ice up here. No. So when he bit, did yeah. he come? Did he chase it up off the bottom? I or? was actually pounding the bottom, which is how I've been getting a lot of these bites mm -hmm. uh, today. You know, a, a lot of the fish are actually banging it right off the bottom. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was a good hit, but yeah. it was right sucked on the bottom. It, it yeah, right in, whoop. I'm sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he's still on the bottom. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just trying to take me. Yeah, he's taking me on the tour. <laughs> so we've See? been fighting this fish for a while. <laughs> yeah, we're obviously <laughs> truncating the edit. Yeah. I think it's what probably 20 minutes. At, at least 20 minutes yeah. now. Um, we, we've had uh, there it is right there, a couple feet off the bottom, mm -hmm. and we're wearing it down a little bit. But every time we think yeah. that, it just takes another big run. <laughs> you got the right rod for it, just not quite the right line to right. start horsing him. Right. Yeah, I'm using uh, six pound ice magic today, and. Uh, this is going to be a true testament of yeah. what it can do, I think. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those, you know, you, you you hook into a fish that's not a target species and it's like, if you horse them right away and he gets off, then it's like no skin off your back. But once you reach like a certain oh, amount yeah. of time you, that, well, I got 20 minutes invested yeah. into catching this fish. Now I'm, we got to- I'm gotta dedicated see, now. Yeah. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> yeah, we got to stay on it. Oh, might, he's coming up I off the bottom I think we might now. be uh, getting a little closer here. Yeah, he's 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 like three feet off the bottom <laughs> instead of right really on the bottom. Really wearing him down now. <laughs> <laughs> could be a lost. Uh, buddy. It could be a lost muskie. I, I guess. Came down here to eat saugers. <laughs> oh, he's oh he's close. Is he? Yeah. It's really close. Okay. Well, I'm guessing we're not going to get him the first time he comes to the hole. Oh, there he is, whatever he is. I see bubbles. I just seen it snout, whatever it was, sticking past the hole. And did it have any dangly feelers <laughs> down there? I, I think it did. <laughs> <laughs> but it looked large. Well, I tell you, you know that, that initial 30 seconds when you're just really trying to figure out what you got going yeah. on here <laughs> well i bet when you it's like <laughs> i bet for the first five you thought you had a horse uh, wall yeah on, exactly yeah. i yeah, say he's wait a little bigger than I, I say wait until he gets all the way snowed all the way up before you go for him <sighs> oh yeah you got him you got him <laughs> i don't got him yet but here we go there you yeah. go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh man. That was a heck of a battle. That was an awesome battle. Mm. What an awesome fish. Man, Woo. yeah, that I'm thinking more like 48 there. Yeah. We were, we were, He's pushing 50 yeah. inches, I bet. Yeah. Man. That's excellent. Cool. Here I got a Very hemo cool. right here. So cold my hands are sticking to it. <laughs> Oh, that, that's that, awesome. That little hook and that line held up. Yeah, it did. That six pound uh, suffix ice magic. And it did the trick. Well, she's icing up. We yeah, better... she is. We better get her back. Yep. What an awesome fish, though. All right. Ugh, that's a Sweet. tight, tight fit. <laughs> Come here, girl. Oh, oh, yeah, she's ready to go. There you go, girl. There she goes. I don't know oh. about you. Don't no but, no hand claps right now because my gonna, hands are freezing. I'm gonna flip this house up and turn this heater <laughs> yeah, on. Definitely. My arms are frozen. <laughs> what an awesome fish though. Very cool.
Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer, is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Introducing the Light Flight Laser Drill Unit by StrikeMaster. The Light Flight, the laser drill unit that offers a nearly 40% reduction in weight without sacrificing cutting speed. Paired with any quality brushless electric drill or any StrikeMaster powerhead, the Light Flight features a full-length flight and molded blade carriage that ensures your laser blades will always stay at the perfect cutting angle. Less weight, less fatigue, more holes in less time. The Light Flight Laser Drill Unit by StrikeMaster, the hottest brand on the ice. Stop ice formation in its tracks down to 20 degrees below zero with the new Ice Defense Pro Series from Cold Nation Outdoors. Lightweight and highly portable, Ice Defense is compatible with all flasher and camera brands. Ice Defense draws in warmer water from below to circulate at the top of your hole, creating a powerful thermal flow to melt away ice, slush, and snow. Spend time fighting the fish, not an icy hole. Ice Defense, own the cold. been a few years since I've fished this part of Lake of the Woods. You know, the last time I think I was up here was fishing the Angle or that Sioux Narrows area. And it's uh, no surprise of why it's so busy down here. You get a lot of action. Yeah, there is a lot of action down here. It's been a while for me too, at least four years since I've been out here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's just as many fish as I remember last time. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. That feels a little better than the smaller guys we've been getting today. Maybe more of that eater quality. You know, you come to the south shore like this and, you know, you can get on some nice fish. Oh yeah, it's a walleye. There we go. You can get on some nice fish out here, but what really keeps you busy is all the action of all the small saugers, small walleyes. You know, this time of year, early ice, you kind of hope to get <coughs> on a little bit better quality, especially here near the river, you know. The Rainy River flows in Four Mile Bay here and then we're just west of the gap in between the, uh, the main gap and then the Morris Point Gap just out from Pine Island. And what happens in the fall is you have this big push emerald shiners that go up to the river and spawn and those walleyes chase them right up in there with them, eating those emerald shiners. And what we're trying to do is catch these walleyes that were up there this late fall, feeding on these shiners, coming back out, transitioning out before they get into the main basin. And those are the fish that we're targeting right now. Um, we're having a lot of action, a lot of success catching these smaller fish. And I'm sure these big ones are around somewhere. You know, a lot of times you'll get into these situations where the saugers will be up here rummaging around, eating bloodworms and things like that. And big walleyes will actually be there feeding on the small saugers too so you know if you're in an area where you're catching small saugers you can also contact some big walleyes as well and one of the other things that I want to talk about is kind of rod selection and then line and when you're fishing uh, for smaller fish like this I'm using a precision I love fishing the precision and a 36 inch tuned up custom precision rod it's got a little bit more of a moderate action not quite as fast of a tip and it works really well for setting the hook on these smaller walleyes and saugers things like that but one of the things that I always do if I'm using say a precision like this is I'm always using braid um, this already this rod already has a soft enough action soft enough tip to where it's going to absorb those head shakes that initial hook set and things like that keeping those fish pinned i don't want to use mono with this i don't want any more stretch because this rod is already limber enough so i'm going to run braid on a setup like this now if i'm running a rod like a commander i love running the commander on bigger baits jig wraps uh, slab wraps ripping wraps things like that 
Then I'm using more of a monofilament. What I really have been using lately is that Suffix Advance. I really like that Suffix Advance in a six pound test. It has just a little bit of stretch. So that rod that's a little bit stiffer keeps those fish pinned. So I'm gonna get another minnow here and get back on them. There's one. Oop. Feels like another one of them little guys. I'm just kind of cycling through different baits right now. I put on the number five rip and wrap just to see if I could, you know, target a little bit larger fish. But these fish will hit anything. <laughs> put that one back. But you know, that's one valid point to make. You know, any given day, you got to go through different, uh, different size baits, different profiles. You know, different styles and. You know, uh, I, I oftentimes, when we're in amongst a lot of smaller fish, will upsize my bait um, just to try to target specifically those larger fish. Um, well, I'm going to keep after it with this bait and see if I can get on some little bit bigger ones. There he is. Still picking away at him. There's definitely no shortage of, of action out here. You know, it takes <laughs> it takes a lot of weeding through them right now in the area that we're at to, to get your nicer fish, but it's just tons of action, tons of these saugers that are actually perfect eaters. They fry up really good. You still fishing that tingler spoon? I actually put on that number five rip and wrap. Got just it. to see if I can get into some little bit bigger fish. Yeah, there's definitely profile. no shortage of hook sets on the little guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're still pro proven to be hungry enough to eat that one too. Yeah, the saugers are aggressive. Yeah, they really are. They're willing to eat a pretty big bait. Oh, here comes another one. There he is. It's almost with this sun, we're getting a little bit more aggressive reactions from these fish. We've, we're still out in that deeper water, you know, with this high pressure and everything pushing in. Just makes, makes a lot of sense to be out there. Just another little guy. I think I'm going to keep him, actually. But still the same program, just fishing these larger spoons and they're just coming in in waves. and. Picking off two, three of them and waiting another 15 minutes, like I said. That's gonna do it for this week's episode. PJ, Vic, and I gave it our all. We caught a ton of fish, but we were not able to get on those bigger walleyes that we were chasing, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. So until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.